What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restoration with Vic. Today we are going to be working on an older pair of shoes, these 2002 Bugs Bunny 8s. I picked these up at New York Sneaker Con a couple months back. Um, some kid came to the table, had a box full of shoes, a um, box full of beaters actually. He asked me what I liked. I picked two pairs, these Bugs Bunny 8s and a pair of female Aqua 8s. I was supposed to release the female Aqua 8 video first, but I messed up the shooting schedule since the glue did not come in on time. So we pushed those back for a later video and we're gonna work on these first. Um, as you can see, these shoes are from 2002, so they're gonna need a lot of work. Um, for example, the soles are completely yellowed. We're gonna remove that yellowing in my indoor setup. Um, give these shoes a massive deep clean inside and out. Um, remove the creasing. Give these shoes a full proper midsole repaint. Get rid of all this creasing. Repaint the uppers in some areas. And any other touch-ups we may need, I'll take care of them throughout the video. So, let's get started. To get started with this restoration, before we get straight to the deep cleaning process, we're gonna remove the shoelaces and insert our adjustable rejuvenated shoe tree to help remove the creasing during the deep cleaning process. Shoelaces are out, shoe tree's in, time to get started with the deep cleaning process. For this cleaning, we're gonna be using rejuvenators, three brush and brass brush launch system. Um, the first brush we're gonna get started with is a step bristle brush. But first, we gotta squirt some squirts of a rejuvenator solution. <laughs> okay guys, we're all done with using the step bristle brush. Um, the soles look a lot better, but as you can see, in some areas of the sole, it, there's still some deep stains. So we're gonna try to use the brass bristle brush to try to get rid of all those deep stains. All right, all done with the brass bristle brush. These soles are as clean as they're gonna get. Um, keep in mind, these shoes are from 2002, so there is some permanent stains, but we'll take care of the yellowing later when we remove the yellowing inside my indoor setup. So moving on to the next brush, which is the medium all-purpose. We're gonna be using this brush to clean up the white leather. All right guys, all done with the medium purpose brush. On to the last brush, which is a soft bristle to clean up the sock liners and tongue. All right, all done with the soft bristle brush. Um, I forgot to mention that I was gonna be using this brush to clean up the suede on the back of the shoe. Obviously, we already took care of that. So now before we put the shoes in the secret laundry bag and put them in the washing machine, I wanna mention that these shoes are from 2002. I know I mentioned in the past that you don't wanna put all the shoes in the washing machine, but in this case, I don't see any separation on the shoe. The shoe's pretty sturdy, so I have a good feeling nothing's gonna to happen to them. So let's put them in the washing machine. Washing machine time. For this process, we're gonna to wanna to use cold water with a small cycle since it is one shoe. And of course, an ounce of a rejuvenator, sink and laundry detergent. Pop the cap off, squeeze, pour one ounce, close the damn washing machine, press start. All right guys, shoes are out the washing machine. They came out really good, they smell good, except for one part. Unfortunately, I wasn't anticipating this. The tab all over the outside of the shoe completely cracked. Um, you can see right here, it's just falling apart. Um, mistakes happen, I should have listened to Pacific and not put shoes older than 2005 in the washing machine. Um, unfortunately, I just wasn't thinking about the plastic part. Um, I was more thinking about the midsole separating, which by the way, there's no separation anywhere. I was right about that part. Um, but we're just gonna have to deal with it and move on to the next step. 
learn from your mistakes, guys. Um, don't put shoes older than 2005, 2004, depending on what you're working on inside the washing machine. So now we're just gonna move on to the next step, which is the soles. We're gonna be using, uh, so now we're just gonna move on to the soles. We're gonna be using Salon Care 40, some Ceram Wrap, and my indoor setup to wipe off all the yellow. What's up, guys? And I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we are back. Soles are back to white. Check out a side-by-side -side comparison of how they used to look like compared to now. I did a solid 45 minutes to an hour on each side. They came out really, really well. Check that out. So now moving on to the next step is these midsoles. Um, first step we're gonna do is tape off some areas in the uppers so we can prep them, then paint them. Uppers are fully taped up all around. Next step we're gonna move on to is stripping these midsoles. Keep in mind these midsoles are 16 years old. If we use acetone on these midsoles, it will eat them apart and we don't want that. So for this step, we're gonna be using rubbing alcohol and cotton balls to strip these midsoles. Mitchells are fully stripped. Next step we're gonna do is remove the tape, retape the uppers, and tape the sole this time so we can lay down the paint. It's called doing nothing, guys. <laughs> Make sure you eat that too. Shoes are funny, all taped up. Next step we're gonna do is lay down some paint. The first color we're gonna lay down is this metallic gray paint. The colors I used to achieve this color was dark gray and silver, really easy. Um, we're gonna be using this angular brush to apply it. Metallic gray is nicely laid down, um, no issues at all with that. Last color we gotta lay down is the red on both sides of the sneaker. Same exact thing, we're gonna be using the angular brush to apply it. This was fully repainted, red looks really good. All we gotta do now is go outside, spray them with some Krylon matte finish.
All right, guys, so the mantles are fully done. They came out really, really good. Um, the gray and the red's a perfect match. So moving on to the next step is we're gonna go ahead and take off all these fried threads all over the shoe. Fried. Fried, fried. There you go. So we're just gonna move on to the next step, which is all this fried. <laughs> Shit. I thought I had it, to be honest. Moving on to the next step, we're gonna be using these clippers to remove all this frayed thread all over the shoe. <laughs> It sounds more like cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. On to the next step is these black straps. As you can see in some areas, it's pretty scuffed up. The only way to fix this material is by touching it up with black paint mixed with a little GAC 900. And we're gonna be applying it, as always, with this angler brush. What could a woodchuck chuck and a woodchuck chuck chuck wood? <laughs> I suck, guys. Black straps is all touched up. That was easy and quick. Moving on to the next step is cleaning up these tabs. As you can see on this side, it's slightly scuffed up. So we're going to be using a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol to wipe it off nice and gently. This tab is ready to go, scuff wiped off really easily, no problems whatsoever. Moving on to this tab, obviously it's still permanently damaged, not much we could do unless I remove this old tab, grab another tab from another pair of eights, put it on this shoe and restitch it. Um, we don't want to do that though just because it's way too much work, these eights are not worth all that trouble. So what we're going to do for a simple solution is apply some super glue onto this piece that's cracking and coming almost off and shut it down. On to one of the final steps is the white leather. We gotta touch up some scuffs all over the white leather using this slightly off-white paint. All I used was white paint with a little tiny bit of cream and an angle brush. All right guys, white leather is all done. Finally, um, that was pretty much the last step. All we gotta do now is go outside once again and spray on with some Krylon matte finish. All right guys, so we just figured out Cup of Joe means Joseph Daniels from World War I, um, which is pretty interesting because our graphic designer, his name is Daniel Joseph, which is the opposite of Joseph Daniel. He doesn't like coffee. So I think we just figured out a whole new conspiracy here. Um, yeah, I thought you guys might like to know. Daniel is. All righty guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration on the 2002 Air Jordan 8 Bugs Bunny. Um, the restoration itself came out pretty clean, but in my opinion, the shoe is still pretty beat. These shoes are from 2002, which makes them 16 years old. As you can see from the before shoe, there's been a lot of wear and tear. Most of the yellowing came out of the soles, but in some areas, there's still some slight grime and some deep yellow stains. I used a brass bristle brush, the stiff bristle brush, Salon Care 40, and even acetone. None of that took out those deep stains. That's just what happens to old rubber. Not much I can do about it. The mantles as well, they're pretty fragile like I said earlier in the video. I had to use rubbing alcohol to strip the paint. If I would have used acetone, it would have just completely eaten the mantles. 
and ruin this full restoration. Moving on to the black straps, they use suede on this material. You can repay suede, but the next best thing you can do is touch it up. All in all, the moral of this restoration is you gotta be extra careful with working on older shoes because the materials on these shoes are super delicate, exhibit A. But don't get me wrong, this restoration wasn't a complete fail. This shoe still looks a lot better than what they used to look like. All the yellowing's gone, the midsole's been repainted, the creasing's out, uh, scuffs and scratches that were in the upper leather have been touched up, and the shoe itself is actually clean thanks to the power of Reshuminator. You can find all our products at Reshuminator.com. Check out the description below for my promo code to save a few bucks, and also um, a link to all the products I use, like my indoor setup, Salon Care 40, um, heat gun, everything. Hope you guys enjoy this Learning Monday. I'll see you guys next week.